What's good? I'm a ruthless addict. It is your girl, Tika Deshaun. Thank you so much for tapping into all things ruthless, home of the ruthless addicts, y'all. Um, let's go ahead and recap what we saw on episode nine. We saw that the highest sent Aaron to the cooler. We also saw that Lewis and Bridget been getting it in. We also saw where the highest gave Malcolm the drugs to see if he would live or die. And then we saw our girl Lacey being told that she was going to be responsible for giving the highest seven babies. So let's get into episode 10. I don't think this episode was supposed to come out, but they released it on BET Plus, only the BET Plus app, okay? So anyway, we see that Desiree, as well as Cal, are ready to make their way to the Rockadushi compound because they found that found out that a sitting governor is the father of one of the people on the Rockadushi compound, y'all. And guess who that parent is? It is Aaron. So Aaron is father is a sitting senator and when a sitting senator says jump you say how high matter of fact you don't even ask questions you just do what needs to be done and basically that's what Desiree is trying to tell Mac look we got we have to go and handle some business but Mac is like they will shut they will kill they have kids out there they will start a war it will be a battle and of course Conley is standing there you know trying to you know saying the same thing just let me go up there in the morning I can talk to them Conley if you go up there there's not going to be Aaron's going to still be on that compound there's not going to be any results so Mac says okay after Desiree agrees okay we're not going to go up there and Cal, uh, Cal is digging in Conley's behind like he does not like De uh, Conley at all because Conley says your your attitude is just like that one Brian and so Cal says oh you had an attitude you had a problem with Brian did you know that he and his wife were found dead at his home that was buried that was burned down and Conley is looking like, no, I didn't, I didn't know anything about that. So, but Conley, you knew that uh, Brian and Lee, at least Brian was on that record just come out. So anyway, anyway, they, Conley, you know, he thinks that he has talked them down from going to the, to the record she compound. But after, after uh, Mac and Conley leave, Desiree tells this other agent, I think his name is Pringle Print something anyway she tells him hey you follow mac um and cal is like over in the corner he's pissed off because he's thinking we're not gonna get any action we're not going to the rock compound we're just gonna let this stuff keep going so she says nah f them we're going after everybody leaves she's like nah f them we're still going so she and cal walk out as if they are on their way to get into their vehicles again uh mac is being watched so whatever move he makes is definitely going to be on record so then we see elder mother marvel and she makes her way over to the highest and she tells him you know i'm going to, i'm getting ready to go make your food and he says to the other one make sure the dosage is high um in, in other words, talking about Laura, make sure the dosage on her food is high. And then he says, remember that idea, you know, that he has, he asked Elder Mother, where are you coming from? And she says, well, you know, remember our little project? And he said, yeah, about that. Rather than use the men that are seated, I want you to use the men that aren't seated. Her, her, basically her baby shouldn't come from, you know, the seed of the highest. Um, she's not worthy enough of that. She has escaped way too many times. She has done too much to get to, you know, have a actual Raku baby. So the men that, that are going to go in there are the ones that ha are probably sex deprived, aggressive, and they are, you know, that's who he says to send in there to Lacey. He's the freaking devil too, y'all. The highest is definitely the devil. So anyway, we see our girl Ruth and she's a little bit, she's taunting Bridget a little bit. She's like, look, you know, I'm not going to tell, but only if you tell me some information. So now she doesn't, of course, nobody really knows where the children are. Even elder mother doesn't even know where the children are, but she says, um, you know, about Lewis, how do you basically, how do you meet up with Lewis? And she says, well, I put a, a letter underneath the cup and I give him his drink 
and he knows to you know to meet me and then bridget gets a little insecure it's like but are you gonna go are you gonna go have sex with him girl ruth ain't thinking about having sex ruth says she is the about to be the wife of the highest and she has no reason to even think about sleeping with him so she she, she says okay but in between before that um he comes up to the table he's nervous as all outdoors lewis is nervous as all outdoors because he thinks that ruth is going to tell the highest you know ev about his plan about him trying to escape trying to take the money like sh he's nervous but she says i'm not gonna say nothing but she was like look we're not gonna talk about that here at this table so then he walks away and up walks jones so john is like well what's that all about and ruth tells her first ruth is not trying to say anything to her but then she's like oh i thought he was messing with you know the women and i could have been wrong but he just seemed like he was messing with the women so ruth is plotting she's literally plotting she's got a couple of plans going on i don't know who all is going to be involved in her direct plan but she's plotting so then she also root joan also lets her know look elder mother did it doesn't know where the children were she just knows they went out you know on the bus um which is what basically what everybody has been saying so for all we know they could have just been going on a little field trip around the community or something but anyway so again to everybody asking the question where are the children we have no idea but they should be back tonight and i'm gonna tell y'all who said that they should be back tonight in other words so then elder mother marvel sees daikon and daikon is like what what are you doing like you're supposed to be fixing the highest food and she's like well the i just got through talking to the highest and the highest told me that you um need to go get the meats out of the freezer you know how elder mother i listen leave the accents to everybody else but one thing she did say and I know exactly what this word means because I am from Miami. She called him a bummer clot. <laughs> you bummer clot. Like, so bummer clot is the new word for elder mother. Hopefully Facebook don't block me for, or uh, to YouTube don't block me for using that. But elder mother Marvel, had, her new word is bummer clot to daikon after calling him anthony and so then then you know he he walks away of course don't walk away walk away mad as they always do he goes his direction she goes to prepare the food for the highest so then we see the highest has made his way into the shock the charge chair trailer with malcolm malcolm you guys i don't know if anybody picked it up but malcolm keeps saying something about he has to go get his son he has a son um we don't really know if this is true we don't know if he's talking about sarah's son or if he actually has a son but for some reason this keeps coming back into his memory so the highest wakes him up he smacks him around a little bit and wakes him up and he comes to and he says you know um he was like oh yeah so you you survived that stuff that i gave you was good and and he said you thought i tried to give you too much and malcolm's like yeah you did try to give me too much um i was drugged but not that drug not that drugged up to realize you <laughs> you gave me a whole bunch of drugs so then the highest start asking malcolm I need some information. I need to know what really happened. I need to know why, why, what do they know about us? What have they been, you know, talking about us? But at this point, Malcolm tries to bargain with the highest, which was a mistake because the highest is now ready to turn the knob on, turn the dial on that charge chair, okay? So then we see Mal Daikon has made his way over to the cooler to get our poor baby Aaron from out of the cooler and he is shaking he is trembling his lips are blue poor Aaron y'all look at him just just no coloring no color just 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 cold just straight cold I feel so bad for him so anyway um he talks you know that kind of telling him you know so why did you come here if you didn't want to be here and i, I i'm sorry and you no know, he's he's breaking he's basically breaking um he's breaking aaron and telling him when you respond you say when you talk when you talk to me or the highest you say yes yes the highest yes daikon um and so hi daikon tells you know he asks after he gets him out of this cooler he tells him you know okay let's go we're gonna go into another trailer you're gonna be warm it's gonna be warm in there so in other words so you can thaw out and of course 
Look at his face, y'all. His lips have changed to a purple. Poor Aaron. He was almost frostbite, but not quite, but close enough to where he could barely move his legs. And so Daikon just lets him know, you know, you'll be all right. You'll be fine. You just need to be more complicit or more compliant. Yeah, complicit with what is going on. Um, so as again, he locks him. He takes him to another trailer, and like he's and Aaron is afraid at first. He's afraid to go in that trailer, but Daikon lets him know, look, I'm not gonna lock you up. I mean, I'm not gonna chain you up inside. I'm just gonna put you in there so you can thaw out. So he does that and he closes the door. Now, y'all look at the door now because <laughs> Daikon points this out. He's like, yeah, we got some different doors this time around. You know what I mean? Because the other doors, you could get locked on the inside. Now they're smart enough to lock the doors from the outside. So while we thought Daikon was only running around the compound uh, doing the do with Ruth, he also <laughs> was making some some uh, decorational changes around the compound because only only he would have thought to lock those doors from the outside in. So anyway, then we see again she's she told Ruth how you know how she meets up with with Lewis and she shows her. She says, "Show me, show me how you know how you do it." So she picks up a cup. And she writes on the bottom of a cup. She writes a little message. And I guess the message is like, meet me here. Or she writes a letter on the bottom of a cup. I don't know. And, and once she writes the letter on the cup, then Ruth is basically going to give him that cup. So then we see Elder Mother Marva and our girl Zane. I told y'all, Zane was not crazy. Zane is literally playing the game. She has played the game so well that Elder Mother Marva has given her the in, the ingredients to the highest is food now i don't know if she showed her the drugs but she literally is giving her the ingredients on how to prepare or what actually goes into the highest is food and she says and he likes it extra spicy so that extra spice could that be the the powder the content that the highest is needs to calm down or is it the content that makes him angry that's interesting, but uh, Zane is playing her game, playing the game so well, you guys, that Elder Mother even trusts her enough to tell her that Lacey is still alive because Le Zane plays it off. She's like, oh, I hate her and, and I wish that she could die two times and I would stump her in the ground, just like talking all kind of trash just to make Elder Mother believe that she is truly on the side of the Raku and Elder Mother trusts her and says, well, we have something planned for Lacey and you already know what it is, you guys. It's the the R-A-P-E from the men that are not um, enlightened, okay? So Lacey, Zane is going to be there with Lacey when all of this stuff goes down because Elder Mother, like I said, has gained the trust of Zane. So then we see we see Ruth and she walks up to Louis, <laughs> Louis and George and she hands Louis a cup and you know like, George is looking at you know he's just looking like I don't trust her and he's like George after she walks away George is like nah she she's with us Ruth is with that hood stuff she's not with she's not with all this Raku stuff so um, he was like, so she, you know, you told her the plan. He was like, listen, listen, I, I, I think she can help us. I think she can help us. So he, she give Ruth gives him the cup and she ends up walking away. And the two of them are just talking like, who do I trust? Who do we trust? Who can we trust? And down in walks your boy, Manny. Look at, look at Manny's face. Manny is like, yeah, he, y'all was right. Yeah, you were right. It, it was what y'all said it was going to be. The highest tried to F me. Um, F me up the A. <laughs> and and Manny's like, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. And he says, um, so what's y'all plan? Now, George is like, bruh, ain't no plan. Like, I'm not trusting you at all. There is no plan. I'm not trusting you. And I don't blame him. I wouldn't tell him. And George, Lewis need to be quiet too. But George is right. Don't say anything because you don't know how many will use this info against either one. So then, then they leave and we see River 
sit down at the table. He's talking to talking to Manny and he's acting like <laughs> Manny is a new person. He's thinking Manny is going to probably, he, the way he's acting is out as if Manny is good to go and he's going to swing his way and Lewis and, and, and River's like, look, uh, Manny's like, look, I'm not, I'm not with it. Get the hell on, get away from me. Um, but Daikon walks up and tells River, River, leave my men alone. Like go away. Like you even, you don't have any reason to sit at this table with with any of the men, anybody. So, uh, Daikon asked Manny, what did she, what did he say? What did he say? And so, uh, Manny, he doesn't tell on River, surprisingly. He doesn't tell on River. He just says, he was just acting goofy, acting silly, just asking stupid questions. That's all. And so, then in walks Elder Mother. Y'all, if, if, is it me or is Elder Mother, does she seem to be moving slower? and more out of breath compared to compared to how she normally moves because when she was talking to the highest earlier she seemed as if she was like really tired and out of breath i could just be reaching but she just, there's just something to me i feel like there's something else that's going to go on with elder mother marvel so anyway Anyway, Zane walks Elder Mother into the pavilion and she says to the men, if you have one of those blue cards, raise it up. And if you do have one, I need you to meet me in the classroom tonight. So the, the situation with Lacey is going to take place in the classroom. But Daikon is like, what the hell is she talking about? Like, what is what is she about to do? Because, of course, Elder Mother, when she gets rules or met, uh, uh, things to do from the highest, she just doesn't, she doesn't tell Daikon anything. So then, Lacey, not Lacey, y'all, <laughs> Zane, Joan, and Ruth are in the pavilion, or in the kitchen, little dining area outside, and they're doing dishes, finishing plates, and all of that, and they're saying, well, what, what is this about? What is she saying? Um, and then that's when Zane proceeds to let them know, look, this is what the highest has planned for Lacey. This is what Elder Mother has planned for Lacey. They are going to R-A-P her, R-A-P-E her, and they are, it's going to be a bunch of them that are not um, um, enlightened, and but Zane lets them know, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna be there with her. I'm gonna try to keep her, you know, keep her um keep her keep her to in the mindset of we're gonna get out of here no matter what happens, we are gonna get out of here. Hopefully that plan will work. And the same that was, you know, of course we were walking up, did y'all hear? Did y'all hear? And that's when Ruth Ruth is like, Look, yeah, we just heard, okay? Like, is she gonna make it? Like you you worried about is she gonna make it you should be having sympathy for the fact that the girl is about to be messed around with by multiple men ruth like have some have some um some true care concern so anyway and even joan points that out to her she's like she's like hey have some concern like lead with that instead of what you just led with so Elder Mother walks up to Peter and she is attempting to take the tray of the highest into the trailer. But as you know, there's so much money in there. Daikon does not want anybody else in the trailer. And she, and of course, Daikon walks up and what are you trying to do? No, you can't go in there. And of course, River walks up being nosy because he's trying to get into the trailer to see where the money is. And Daikon is like, neither one of you can go in there. The highest is not in there. You can wait outside until he comes but you're not going inside that trailer and well if the food gets cold just go wait in the kitchen heat it up and bring it when he's ready um so of course elder mother once again used her famous word the bomber clock like like b leave me alone like why you keep messing with me mf you know elder mother is like fed up because she thinks she's the best friend of the highest because they have a plan but then out in the woods you guys we see andrew and he's trying to get back on the rock -a compound like Andrew, why would you even want to get back on the compound? He says, "Oh, I'm, I'm, you know." So anyway, he's approached by these two FBI agents who are out in the woods, who are watching everything that's going on around the compound. Um, and Cal, I believe it was Cal that actually got on the radio, and he says, "We're going to take a trip to to the uncle's house." Meaning Cal 
and and De Desiree and everybody else are on their way to the Rockadushi compound. But Andrew attempts to, you know, get into a whole tussle. First, it's like, man, I'm still FBI. And, and, and oh boy, the other agent is like, oh, still, you still FBI? So they get into a tussle. But, I mean, in the beginning, it looked like Andrew was winning. But <laughs> ended up, they ended up flipping and they got Andrew on the ground, handcuffs behind the back. Um, and they got him. So now he don't have to go back to the compound. But we're going to see what happens because if he don't go back to the compound, something could happen to those kids. So anyway, we'll see because Desiree and Cal are on their way to the Rockadusha compound. And we're going to see what all goes down. So then finally, not finally you guys, but then we see Ruth makes her way over to a, some abandoned car with sheets or, or paper towels, newspapers all over the windows. And she's telling um, Lewis, look. What are you going to do? What's your plan? Um, so he tells her, but he says there's only about $300,000 in there. Now, Ruth knows that there's well over a million dollars. So she says, well, I want $300,000. And, and Lewis says, that's, that's all that's in there. That's all that's in there. And she says, okay. And she, she's being sensible. Okay. We're going to divide amongst everybody 50 K plus I got to be able to get my daughter. So basically the plan is you guys, you're going to gather up some more men. You can even use your girl Bridget, give her a gun, put a gun in her hand and let, and let her hold me hostage. And then you're going to have, um, uh, you're going to hold, you got your guys and your men are going to hold the highest hostage. And when the other men try to try to, um, buck up on you guys y'all are gonna turn your guns somebody's gonna turn their guns on his guys it's gonna be like a whole standoff and they're gonna have no choice but to allow the highest and me to leave off the rocket douche compound but y'all are gonna put me in a separate car and we're gonna and, and i'm gonna get my daughter and you know ruth got this thing all the way laid out and it's sounding really good to lewis and lewis can't help but agree and so you know he gets a sound on a signal on the radio from somebody with somebody obviously watches lewis's back it could could be George it could be somebody else but somebody is watching his back so anyway once they found once she said once he says that the coast is clear uh, Ruth gets out of the car and she makes her way back to I guess her trailer but then again we see the highest he is trying to get information from Malcolm so Malcolm finally says they have been watching you guys for the last four years because of some teenagers that have been coming to the Rockadushi compound their parents have been looking for them and this is why you you guys are under investigation they literally been following 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 looking out listening out you know trying to see what you guys have been up to so then we see daikon looks in the window because prior to daikon looking into that window on the radio the young soldier out in the woods somewhere the government is coming the government is coming so finally we're going to get to a moment where we finally get to see the government is on the way, but Daikon goes and tells the to the, tells the highest, look, I need to talk to you, your highest. So the highest step, he's like, this is important. So the highest steps out of the trailer and the two of them had a conversation and he lets them know, look, the government is coming based on, based on my boy out in the woods, the high, the government is coming and what are we going to do? And the highest says, I guess we're going to go to war. Y'all, that was the end of the episode. I know it took me a minute to give it to you guys, but that was the end of the episode. It looks as if this was a season or a mid-season finale or a mid-season break. I think we're going to take a break. Like I said, they gave us episode 10. I don't think they realized they gave us episode 10, but they gave it to us. If they gave it, if they give it to us again next week, we'll know that they somebody effed up okay but it's all good because we the ruthless addicts we absolutely love it we appreciate bt plus we appreciate everybody at tyler perry studios for giving us ruthless uh, make sure you guys tap in tune in next wednesday we will be doing a ruthless round table um and I am going to be doing a movie night tomorrow, you guys. I will get, be presenting a movie straight from Tubi um, starring our guy Jamie Calica, also known as Brian. Yes, he's no longer on Ruthless, but he is still out there shaking the bacon, making movies and everything, you guys. 
with that being said thank you all so much for tapping in um if you're new to my channel finding me for the very first time please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you may receive reminders of new ruthless content okay all right y'all thank y'all so much and you already know stay ruthless